to see you there. Welcome to my practice room. I'm Jay Ritchie, and I play percussion and timpani with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Since you're here, I guess I can tell you about um, some of my instruments. These four are the Mallet keyboard family, xylophone, marimba, bells, and vibraphone. Um, because they're pretty similar, everybody often gets these confused. So let's take a closer look at the differences. First up, we have the xylophone. The xylophone has rosewood bars suspended over these metal tubes called resonators. They help project and amplify the sound. We play it with mallets made of either wood, plastic, or in this case, hard rubber. The xylophone is often thought to have sort of a comical effect, so you've probably heard it used on cartoons. For example, when a character falls down the stairs, Xylophone has the shortest ring time of all the mallet percussion instruments, so each note dies away very quickly. That makes it really useful for melodies that have lots of rhythmic energy. Next we have the marimba. Like the xylophone, it has rosewood bars, but these are longer and wider, and so that gives it a lower pitch range. It also has larger resonators, giving it a more ringing, resonant, rich sound. We use softer mallets on the marimba. Usually, they've been wrapped in yarn, so that decreases the percussive attack and makes it more of a warm sound. When we get really fancy, we hold two in each hand. Next, we have the bells, or as they're commonly known by their German name, the glockenspiel. The glockenspiel has metal bars, in this case they're made of steel. Some instruments have individual resonators under each bar, but this one just has one large resonating chamber in this box, which supports the ring of all of the bars. When we play it with these soft plastic mallets, it has a really nice ringing, singing, lyrical kind of sound. But then if we switch to harder mallets, such as these made of aluminum, it has a much brighter, more piercing kind of sound that can really cut through a full orchestra. Hopefully it doesn't, but it can also wake a neighbor's dog. And finally, we have the vibraphone. The vibraphone has aluminum bars and resonators just like the first two instruments. It has the longest ring time of any of the mallet percussion instruments. But we don't have all day, so there's a pedal to control the ring.
trick about the vibraphone and the reason that it has its name is this motor which controls fans in the resonators, giving it a vibrating effect. With this dial, I can even control the speed. Pretty cool. We play it with cord wrapped mallets and um, the combination of all those factors, the pedal, the motor, and everything, can give it a really cool ethereal kind of sound. So, that's the last of our mallet keyboard instruments. Um, thanks for listening and watching, and uh, it's time for me to practice, so I hate to kick you out, but I gotta take the room now. Thanks. <laughs>